Hi everyone, it's Hana from Vietnam. If you ever came to Vietnam, you might be very familiar with the sound. Go and up, go! Okay, back, go! It's very popular in some restaurants or street beers in Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City. But are you truly understand the drinking culture behind that? So, let's find out in this video! Last week, I came back to my hometown for New Year holiday. I let my puppy stay in Hanoi, she's a bit upset and I miss her so so much. However, I experienced a once in a lifetime birthday celebration, a feast for a 100 year old woman. In Vietnam, we celebrate birthday party for the Chang people, we call it Sinh Nhật. But when we hold a birthday party for the elder, we call it Mừng Tha. As you can see, the number of people living at the age of 100 and over is super rare, even in the developed countries. So this would be a very special occasion for all the family and the whole village. Usually, the close and distant relatives would feast together and the host family will prepare a lot of food and alcohol as well. We often have shrimps, chickens, beef and so on. So join me, right? And the indispensable flavoring are salt with some slices of chili and lime, as well as fish sauce. Do you know what is it for? You dip the chicken with this salt. On top of that, alcohol is the crucial item in the menu. The party would be not complete without alcohol. People were not drinking beer in this occasion. The main reason is it's costly and moreover, drinking beer makes you feel full faster so you can't enjoy the food so much. You might be a bit shocked when you have a drink with the Vietnamese because they will invite you to drink continuously. The host members move from table to table, inviting their guests to take a drink. Actually, it's a part of culture. It shows hospitality and happiness of the host. Therefore, they don't expect you to decline the invitation. However, it's okay to not drink if you feel unwell or you have to dry after that. Do you know what it is made from? Wine in Vietnam often made from rice, herbs or fruit, or even animals like snakes. The local people ferment it for a while, and it turns to wine. Uh, about this wine, it is apricot wine, it tastes a bit sweet when you drink it, but it is drunk wine. The fact is, beers in Vietnam is lighter compared to the West, however, Vietnamese wine is often stronger and used to treat some health problems. So that's it for today and thank you so much for watching. So next time when you come to Vietnam, don't try beer, try wine. Bye!